Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use implicit weight in Selenium Java WebDriver program. So we are loading this google.com website and we want to check for element ID. So let's check on ID which is lst-ib here. Okay, so once you have this ID located, what we are going to do is we are going to use implicit wet for particular time period, let's say 20 to 30 ms, and then we are going to let Selenium search for our ID. So what this will do is it will not throw an exception till this element is completely loaded. And even after loading all the elements of the web page, selenium fails to find that element then exception will be thrown okay so let's start with the code i have imported selenium web driver web element firefox and time unit so let's start with web driver driver equals to new firefox driver after that driver.get Go to google.com. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to insert that implicit weight in between driver.get. So let's start with driver.manage and then let's call for. timeout as well okay so let me check if there is timeout okay there is timeout and then let's call for implicit weight and here first argument is amount of time and second time unit and second should be mentioned can go for micro milli and nano so I'm going with seconds okay once you have this let's have try and catch block if you want you can also create an element and simply go with it because we already have implicit weight so for this example we can skip try and catch block but if you want to put your web element within try and catch block you can do so so let's do it with try and catch block to show you how it works web element element equals to driver dot find element and here we're going to use by id and that is lst dash id and that's it then we do system dot out print ln and call for element okay so make sure that you call for by as well that will clean up that error then for catch call the exception so that we can catch that system dot out dot print then and error found with ID. okay so first we will try with genuine id that we just found and then we will purposefully make error with this id to see whether it shows exception or not also do note that in implicit weight that weight remains as long as browser is active once the browser is closed then session for that implicit weight will be removed Okay, so let's run this program to see how it works. Okay, so it loads our google.com web page and it just printed our driver instance on console. That means our program is correct and there is no issue with it. But what if I just change this to something like say Bing. So Bing is not on our ID of google.com web page. So it will throw an error and that's what we want to see.
Okay, so it is loading google.com web page. Pay attention to console on your Eclipse. Now the wait time is delaying that try and catch block. So the exception is also taking the time to execute. So that gives you idea that there is implicit wait applied to this browser session. And then you will find error displayed here as error found with ID. So after 30 seconds, it will call for this particular ID. Okay, you can go for nanosecond, millisecond, or any other variation of second that you want. Okay, so I hope now you know how implicitly weight function works and how to use that in Selenium. Java program.